Probably the most difficult question you'll ever encounter from your child or your children, kung marami sila, ay yung topic na sex. Diba? Mahirap naman talagang pag-usapan yan. And it's better that as parents, we're prepared even before they get to ask us about that topic. Hindi ba? Kaya nga ngayon, meron tayong mga naimbitahan very close to my heart. They are parenting and marriage coaches. And these people have taught me a lot when it comes to parenting as well as uh, being a wife. So I'd like to welcome on the show my mentors, Kuya Paolo and Ate Jen Punsalan. Hello! Hi! Thank you for agreeing. Pumayag sila. Napapakainin ko lang sila and they'll be on the <laughs> <course>. show. <laughs> it's a hard topic. Um, kahit nga tayo, di ba? We're iffy just mentioning the word sex. But it's a very important thing to be prepared for when it comes to our children. So, I, alam ko marami na kayong experience having four. Unahin na muna natin yung question na, bakit ba kailangan na sa bahay manggaling ang information? Well, kasi I think there's two reasons number, at this top of mind. No? Number one, I think, pag manggaling kasi sa labas, you don't know what kind of information they'll get. Correct. So, you want to make sure, kailangan makit, malaman mo kung ano yung mga input na papasok sa kanila. Mm. Number two, I think it's still best that it comes from the parent. Kasi, the reason why that's important, malalaman nila yung age appropriateness mm. at saka kung ano yung kailangan nila malaman at the season. Kasi hindi naman lahat, you don't dump all the information at, at, once. at once. Oh. Kailan ba talaga tama na bigyan sila ng education about sex, right? Is there a right age? Or what happens if, like, let's say, they ask before that time? Actually, sex education is a long process. Wow, okay. Yeah, hindi yung, oh, sige, mag-usap tayo ngayon and then it's I'll done. give, yeah, I'll give all the information. Hindi. Kasi while your kids are growing, then you see, you look for teachable moments kung ano yung pwedeng ituro at that particular moment. Example, Philip is like two years old. Yes. So, siguro he's, what if? Oh, oh. Oh, he's learning about body parts. Right. That's actually the beginning of sex education. Oh, okay. Oh, so, you have to name the body parts as they are and then say these body parts have to be kept private. As they get older, like for us, our kids love pets. Mm -hmm. Naturally, pag nasa bahay na yung pet, hihingi sila ng babies. Okay. Mommy, I want the hamster to have a baby, di ba? Or the rabbit to have a baby. That's another teachable moment. Oh. Kasi there's a lot of moments that present themselves. You just have to be discerning as a parent. So ako, I would talk about, you know what? A rabbit cannot get pregnant by itself. It needs a mate. So it can be as simple as that kung bata. Uh -huh. Pero mag-progress yan later on habang tumatanda na. But un uh, and unlike animals tayo, human beings just have one mate. Ganon. Mm. It, this is the person that you'll get married to. Pero bago ba yun, parang meron ka na bang finoformulate sa mind mo na ito dapat yung values na ibibigay ko sa kanila when it comes to the topic of sex. You have to discern teachable moments and mm. you have to be deliberate as well. Okay. Ibig sabihin, may mga times na ba, nagtanong about rabbits and how do they have children. Uh, then you can actually use, as, use that as an opportunity. Meron ding ibang uh, pagkakataon na uh, you actually sit down with them. Mm. Lalo na, ano ba? Say, um, there was a time my eldest son was about nine. Mm. I had to sit down with him about... Kasi oh. meron kasing time na dinaanan namin yung mga motel-motel, di ba? And so, nakita niya kasi <laughs> okay. doon yung uh, Disney-themed motel uh, room. <laughs> Or uh, Austin Gus, Power gusto na room. Check in so, sabi niya, Dad, pwede ba kami mag-check-in doon? <laughs> sabi ko, teka muna, let me explain that. So, okay. after some time, I had to sit them down. Sabi ko, okay, this is what the room is about. And ganito yung nangyayari dyan. And so, that, would, oh. that became actually, yes, a teachable moment. Pero it became a jumping board for intentionality in terms of what to say. Ano yung mga dinownload ko sa kanya. Pero meron na ba kayo na-encounter na talagang tinanong sa inyo? Head-on na parang, what is sex? Actually, meron kasi apat ang anak namin. And I remember sa elders natin, uh, from the beginning, parang tinatanggap pa niya yung explanation na the mommy will have an egg that will join with the sperm of the okay. daddy. Parang in his young mind, na ano pa, accepted niya yun. And then, when he was seven or eight, nagtatanong niya sa niya, Mommy, nagpo-float ba yung sperm papunta sa egg? <laughs> 
<laughs> parang lumalabas oh. ba daw, nagpo-float para mag-meet. So, oh. then we had to sit down. Mm. The, you, there's an act, you know, it's a special act. It's like a special hug that daddy and mommy do for the egg and the sperm to meet. Ganon. Because he was seven. But when he, as, as he said, nung mga nine or ten na siya, yun na yung mga technical. Lumabas na talaga the... It's really the act in itself. Okay, before we get into that, kasi yun talaga yung question ko na susunod. How do we properly say things to them, di ba? Kasi nga, we also don't want to be ahead of them. Baka naman we're giving them too much information that might, you know, do something to their imagination way ahead of time. So yan na muna yung hanging question ko sa inyong dalawa. How do we properly explain or what language do we use when relaying the topic of sex to them? Sa pagbabalikyan, syempre, ng Mommy Manual. <music> 